guys, my name is Coach Shardong Stubborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to another Halloween update. I've double checked, there's no like, you know, signal where the hacker could come in at any point. This is just purely me today because I have just seen Thought Park Resort have officially announced the Fright Nights lineup for 2020. It's not Fright Nights, it's got a sinister twist about it. This is Fright Nights. Festival. So, uh, a little bit of a twist on the name there. Now, I said in the previous construction update that Fright Nights is a Halloween event that I want to get down to this year. And, my God, does this line not make me want to go down to it even more. So, we're going to be going through all the new stuff. I'm going to share with you my first initial reactions. I'm going to share with you the dates. I'm going to share with you the times. And also, alongside my thoughts. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Check out our other updates from today. Uh, there's an update from Hyde Park Winter Wonderland, which we uploaded today. And uh, after this was going to be the original second video today, which was the Tornado Springs opening date at Poulton's Park. So you can go see that video uh, once we upload uh, this. And for now, guys, let's get into talking about Thought Park Fright Nights Festival 2020. So we're going to be kicking off with some brand new stuff for 2020. And we're going to start off with a brand new scare zone, Creek Freaks Unchained. Now, according to the Thought Park Fright Nights website, new for 2020, how much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop you? Bit of a tongue twister there. Uh, the freaks of the creek have hacked their way out of the creek wood saw mill and are wreaking havoc on the town. Tread carefully past the deranged family of lumberjacks. Let, lest you find yourself chugging gasoline fumes on the wrong end of a chainsaw. Brace yourself and prepare for the gruesome worst as you take on the Chainsaw Massacre Madness of Creek Freaks Unchanged. Uh, unchanged, sorry, not unchanged. Of course it's changed. It's Creek Freak Massacre last year. This year it's Creek Freaks Unchanged. Uh, uh, unchained. <laughs> um, so a little bit of details for you. This is included in the entry ticket and you can book online for £42 per person. So that's all online. The link will be in the description down below for that. Uh, but this is included in the entrance ticket. Located in Old Town from 3pm onwards. So that's very important. So this is of course Scare Zone. And um, first notes, by the way, very exciting. Very exciting they're taking all the Creek Freak characters out into the old town, make it look more scary from 3 p.m. onwards. And, you know, this makes me want to go to this event even more. Moving into our next one then, and this, my friends, is all about the Festival Arena. So this is located in the dockyard from 3 p.m. onwards. So, new for 2020, a mysterious menagerie has rolled into the hearts of the island, but it's all just smoke and mirrors. Step into the dusty and dissipated Festival Arena and witness the notorious. Compete, compare in their freakish cast, astonish and disturb their willing spectators. This cabaret of carnage may sound fun, but will you leave shaking in fear or grinning in awe? And again, this is included in the entry ticket. So located in the dot yard from 3pm onwards is the Festival Arena. And my guess is this is your, um, you know, your, your carnival themed one. This is your creepy carnival. Hence the box. I think the box from the big top will get relocated to the dockyard area. Uh, and it will be stood there as part of the theming uh, for the Festival Arena Scare Zone. Which will be opening at 3pm onwards. Um, and I definitely think that this is going to have a big top creepy feel to it. Kind of like, you know, I said in the last video, the construction update about how, you know, they should do like a freak show toxic junkyard theme. Where it's like an outdoor maze or an outdoor zone. Um, and bring in the, the theming for it, but theme to Big Top, of course. It looks like they're doing that, but not really called Big Top. It's called the Festival Arena. And, you know, I did expect there would be more scare zones with it being more suits to outside because of the COVID social distancing restrictions. But, very good indeed. Cannot wait to see what's going to happen with the Festival Arena scare zone. Next up, then, we have the Howling of Lycanthorpe High. So... This one's kind of confusing me a bit because there is another school themed one which I'll talk about in a bit. But this is another new scare zone. Who'd have thought it? Three new scare zones. <laughs> 
So the official description of this one then reads, Chill out in the twilight with the students of Link Lycanthorpe High, but keep your wits about you and pray the moon isn't full. Those creatures can be a more and a little more boisterous. New for 2020, you're invited to the Howling of Lycanthorpe High, and they're on the hunt for new recruits, but be warned, their bite is worse than their bark. So this is located opposite the Cantina, which is on the way to Stealth, at 3pm onwards. Uh, and of course, like I said, it is included in the entry ticket, as per usual. So, again, very nice one indeed. Uh, the, the Twilight, the Howling of Lycanthorpe High uh, scare zone. So that, again, very exciting stuff. Uh, very excited about that. And, you know, again, I think this is one I'm going to be really looking forward to. Moving in then to the next one, and this is The Swarm Invasion. So this is an interesting one. So the website officially states about this one. New for 2020, enter the dystopian wasteland after dark in The Swarm has invaded, leaving a path of carnage and desolation in its wake. Head with caution as you pass through this alien infested landscape and pray you aren't abducted by those otherworldly extraterrestrials. The Swarm Invasion, the end is nigh. The Swarm Invasion, of course, again included in the entry ticket and uh, located on the Swarm Island from 3pm. So this one, again, very, very, very interesting. So this one, again, I think it's one that's... I don't know, it just sort of, it, 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 it delights me because, you know, it's nice to see something around that area. It's nice to see that the Swarm Island gets some uh, brilliant, brilliant, uh, good-looking roaming around actors. So again, another scare zone. It's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we can't wait for that one. Next up is The Crow. So the, this is a pair of roaming actors, I believe. Uh, now... Near the crows, nobody goes. Are they watching? Nobody knows. Myths passed down from generation. Did that just move, or was it your imagination? They roam and they creep in the dead of night, but blink and they're gone out of sight. Near the crows, nobody goes. Are they watching? Nobody knows. So a bit of a, a rhyming description for this one. So the crows will be appearing at mystery various locations at 3 p.m. So it's kind of like a... If you, if you catch them, if you find them, then you're a lucky guy or girl. Uh, or, or whoever you are, it doesn't matter. Gender neutral, you know, 2020. And, um, you know, the crows do sound like a very, very exciting bunch of roaming characters. An exciting bunch of roaming actors. Um, I think with these ones, with them being crows, and of course crows usually fly, I think they're going to be jump scary. I think they're going to be quite... Uh, you know, stealthy in their movement in terms of the acting quality. So I think that this one's going to be a very exciting one. And the fact that it says mystery various locations, again, it gives me very, very exciting, um, you know, feelings about this one. So, you know, again, this is going to be a, a very exciting one indeed. Next up, the returning Screenplex Cinema. So the website officially states, Nothing says Halloween like a terrifying horror movie marathon. So take a break from the thrills in the Screenplex Cinema presented by Bloody Cuts. Grab your popcorn and settle into the seat as you devour a series of tantalising, terrifying short films. Plus a few spooky surprises along the way. Located in the Angry Birds 4D Experience building from 3pm. For showtimes, check the entrance signage on the day of your visit. And it's included in the entry ticket like the rest of them so far. So again, the Screenplex Cinema returns for another year. Um, there was some decent reviews from that. Some indie horror films, some short horror movies. And uh, yeah, just to, just to take a break. And it gives the cinema some use over the Halloween period. So again, very nice addition. Good to see it come back for this year. And uh, it would be very interesting to try that out. Because I've heard some good stuff from the Screenplex Cinema. So if I'm down there at Fright Nights this year, I would like to check out the cinema uh, if there is time. Next up, we have a show. Well, Scare Zone show, kind of. Terror Amity High. Now, this was the confusing thing. You've got the Howling of Lycanthorpe High, and then you've got Terror Amity High. Now, Amity High and Lycanthorpe High, I think, are going to do some kind of battle or something. I think there's a. I think we could see some battling going on between schools because, of course, the Lycanthorpe High ones near the cantina, which is, of course, you know, on the way to stealth, and Terror Amity High. Once again, located outside stealth from 3pm onwards. So, 
The website description officially states for Terror at Amity High, it's prom night at Amity High and the teens of Amity Cove invite you to join their bloodthirsty festivities and a make-out point behind the old speedway, which is of course outside the in Intamin launch coaster Stealth that opened at the park in 2006. Uh, but there is no ordinary high schoolers, they're always on the lookout for fresh young blood to join their gang. Stay calm, try to blend in, and hopefully you'll survive the night. So like I said, it's outside stealth at 3pm, and um, of course this is again included in the entry ticket. So, very good stuff there. Tarot Amity High returns for another year. Uh, heard some great reviews from the show last year, so uh, very exciting stuff there. Now, this is where it gets very, very interesting. We have two scare mazes mentioned on here. So the first scare maze is a, re a new one for 2020. I was going to say returning then. It's a new one. This is Roots of Evil. Now, the description officially states, Unearth the horrors that lurk within a forsaken forest and prepare to meet the terrifying abominations that dwell within. Move discreetly through the dark undergrowth and pray your presence goes unnoticed or risk becoming one of the forgotten forever. Now this is located in the jungle opposite the wilderness waffles. Now I'm not exactly sure where that is. Opposite the wilderness waffles. Now you guys can put it in the comments down below. My mind's gone blank with the location specifics and things like that. But this is apparently opposite the wilderness waffles. Am I mistaken? For, and comment and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Is this where Blair Witch was? Now I might be wrong about this. I could be wrong about this, but I've got a gut feeling this is replacing Blair Witch. Now, of course, Blair Witch it was a like a scare maze. Uh, had like I think it had a couple of indoor sections, but it was mainly outdoor um, or pretty much 95% outdoors. That was operating for a couple of years when it returned after a few years' absence. Um, and it looks like Blair Witch has gone again. I mean, it looked like Blair Witch maybe not coming back. So maybe the, but with the pathway that was seen on Monk's Walk with the construction, it looked like something was going there, but not Blair Witch maybe. So potentially Roots of Evil um, could be a replacement for Blair Witch. Now it's very important to mention with Roots of Evil and the the second scare maze that I'm about to talk about. Both scare mazes are not included in the ticket. These two scare mazes cost £10 per person, which must be, which must be pre-booked online in advance and is available to purchase as an add-on during the ticket booking process. So it's very important if you want to experience the mazes that you book it in advance with your ticket. So if you've got any spare 20 quid on you, you can do the two new mazes. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so that's the brand new maze, Roots of Evil, which I believe is located in Blair Witch. Again, comment down below if I'm wrong about that, because I, I think Blair Witch is opposite Wilderness Waffles in the jungle area. But the second maze, also costing £10 per person and not included in the ticket. This is located um, to the right of Samurai, uh, and please note it's a different entry point from previous years. So that links up to the ramp construction that we've been seeing in the last construction update a couple of days ago. And of course, I'm talking about Platform 15. It's returning for another year. Um, so, the description officially states, Depart on a one-way ticket and trek along the overgrown railway line, the last known route of the vanished locomotive, the notorious Sleeper Express. Don't lose your tracks and risk disturbing the haunted souls that were once aboard on your on your way. Just experience the same chilling fate. Can you outrun what lies at the end of the line or will you journey terminate here at platform 15? So of course, uh, like I said, different entry point from previous years. To the right of Samurai though, it's still located there. And um, this is not included in the ticket. It is £10 per person, along with the Roots of Evil maze. And there we go. So that, my friends, is looking at the scare zones, the mazes, the additional stuff for Fright Night's Fierce of All 2020. Now, of course, there is the extra thing of Rise in the Dark, which we all know about. You can experience your favourite rides like Colossus, Saw, Swarm, Stealth, Nemesis Inferno, uh, all the rides that are open in the dark, so you'll be able to experience them for yourself. Uh, now, little bit of extra information for you in terms of prices and dates. So, all pass holders must pre-book their Fright Nights Festival admission and present bo uh, both the reservation and their valid pass at the turnstiles. So this is for pass holders only. So, 
Be advised there are additional and separate allocation from our standard online tickets. Standard exclusion dates apply to your pass. Book now to avoid disappointment. Tickets going quickly. Our two scare mazes, Platform 15 and Roots of Evil, require an additional pay ticket. Pass holder discount is available, which you can have a look. I've linked the full website for the Fright Nights Festival event in the description down below. And there should be an extra link uh, of text saying book here in the pass holder details. Click on that extra link on that website and uh, you'll be taken to the terms and conditions and things like that. Uh, so that's just a little thing uh, for the pass holders. Uh, but don't forget... Uh, we've got an official statement overall on the Fright Nights Festival event. And the statement reads as follows from uh, Thought Park. As fr at Fright Nights Festival, your darkest nightmares are set to reawaken as the UK's premier award-winning Halloween event returns with a sinister twist. Take in the chilling atmosphere before taking on some of Europe's most thrilling rides in the dead of night. But beware, fear is lurking around every corner. The festival is in town, but it's not all fun and games. This October, the island is home to five new horrifying live-action experiences, plus the return of two fan favourites. Launch into darkness on stealth, the UK's fastest coaster. Experience the twisted ter torment of Colossus, <laughs> the world's first ten-looping coaster, and take on the sick and twisted games of Jigsaw on Saw the Right. For true fear seekers, take on the island's two live scare mazes, return the Halloween, depart on your one-way ticket down the petrifying platform 15, plus new for 2020, uh, unearth the horrors that lurk within the forsaken forest and prepare to meet the terrifying uh, abominations that dwell within Roots of Evil. So if you want to know specific dates, this is very uh, specific right here. Fright Nights first of all be operating from the 9th to the 11th of October and then the 16th of October to the 1st of November. So very good opening dates there and like I said the website link is in the description down below so you can check out all the details for your self wow 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 what a lineup loads of new scare mazes i think it's five new scare mazes here um in the attraction then we've got one brand new scare maze with roots of evil and then we've got the return of platform 15 as well as things like the screenplex cinema rides in the dark terror amity high um five scares five scare zones and a brand new maze that is amazing now I know the reason why there's going to be loads of scare zones. One, it's outdoors. Two, roaming actors that can test out how actors would work at Halloween events during the COVID restrictions. And um, yeah, I think this kind of makes up for some of the mazes not coming back. I know Blair Witch isn't coming back, but again, like I said, I think that's been replaced by Roots of Evil. Comment down below again. I think that's where Blair Witch is opposite Wilderness Waffles. Um... But from the sounds of it, I, th I definitely think Creek Freak Unchained is uh, Unchained is coming in because Creek Freak Massacre won't be coming back for this year's Fright Nights. I think that will be, you know, staying abandoned for a year before they, you know, I think if COVID improves in 2021 and we, you know, get, you know, um... I think if we get better as a country in 2021, I think they will bring Creek Freak Massacre back as well as bringing in the Unchained together for 2021. But I think because Creek Freak Massacre may be kind of impossible to work under social distancing and COVID restrictions, etc. I think that's why they're going on the scare zone route for this year. Uh, and that's why it's more of a scare zone. Swarm Invasion. Again, I like how it's more outspread. And I think that's the thing with these scares, these five new scare zones. I think they're very, you know, outspread around the park. Apart from, of course, Amity High outside stealth. And, of course, you know, uh, the Lycanthorpe High on the way to stealth uh, outside the cantina. So, um, yeah, that one's not too far apart. But you've got one at Creek Freak, one at the Swarm. Um, and then you've got uh, other one as well. So, um, you know, you've got a decent selection. And, of course, you know, around the rest of the park, you've got the Crow Actors. So, you know, that's going to be very interesting to see how that's done. And, you know, this is making me more exciting. I really want to get down to Fright Nights, you know. Last time I was at Thorpe Park was in 2017. And I stayed in a beautiful hotel, the Holiday Inn in Shepparton. Um, and I've said in the past I've wanted to go back there, so uh, I think Fright Night's an excuse for me to go. I think, especially, and I said this in a previous video, especially if, you know, I don't have to travel to, to uni for the first year and save myself a grand. 
this gives me an excuse to stay in London and do Fright Nights this year. Um, but in all seriousness, guys, I love the look of the five new scare zones. I love the, the sound of the brand new maze as well. The sound. When I'm saying the look of it, I like the sound of these five new scare zones. Swarm Invasion uh, is definitely one of my favourite ones from the sound of it. Creek Freak Unchanged sound, uh, Unchained sounds amazing. I need to say Unchained, not Unchanged. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Swarm Invasion and Creek Freak Unchained... There we go. Uh, those are the two favourites of, of the new Scare Zones. Roots of Evil. I'm still conflicted about that. I don't know whether it's located in Blair Witch's location or what. I know it's opposite Wilderness Waffles. Am I wrong or is it Blair Witch's location? Comment down below. Um, because the only... If it's in the jungle, opposite Wilderness Waffles, I think if it's in the jungle, the only other location I think it could be is in the old abandoned site, shall we say, or track site of the old fungal saf uh, jungle safari attraction. I was going to say fungal safari then. Miss Hippo's Jungle Safari, which is an old vintage car ride. I think that sort of got, you know, it closed because of the high maintenance cost, etc. And then it was sort of, I don't know if the track was ripped up or it was just covered over, but maybe they could use that site as a potential expansion. Um, well, before I saw Opposite Wilderness Waffles and I saw it was in the jungle, I was like, oh, is it going to be in Jungle Escape or not? Um, but it, it, it would have said if it was in the Jungle Escape building or not. So, you know, opposite Wilderness Waffles, is it in the Jungle Escape building? Is it replacing Blair Witch? Comment down below. My location mapping is terrible at the minute. Um, <laughs> I knew where the other ones were because it was more, I could recognise it. But when it said the Jungle opposite Wilderness Waffles, I was like, huh? <laughs> so, um, but to be fair, if it's replacing Blair Witch, at least they're making use of an already, exi already existing like horror attraction in Blair Witch. So... And to be fair, Blair Witch was getting okay reviews from previous couple of Fright Nights. So if this is replacing Blair Witch, then it's a good replacement for Blair Witch. Uh, so very exciting stuff there if it is replacing Blair Witch. And of course, we know that Platform 15 is coming back. Uh, the Creek Freak one was very interesting because we saw construction in the Creek Freak Massacre queue line. But I believe Thought Part said more details will be revealed. So... I've got a st distinct feeling that Creek Freak Massacre is coming back this year, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, but that's all the details we have so far. If there are more details from Fright Nights 2020, then I'll obviously do a separate video on them. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Chow. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep living the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Very exciting stuff from Thought Park Fright Nights Festival 2020. Thank you very much, guys. Have an awesome day.